LKH, the LKH multi-stage and the LKHP ranges. This video focuses on the standard LKH range. The all-round LKH pump is used for pumping heavy-duty products. The pumping process is carried out by an impeller connected to a shaft which is driven by a motor. The semi-open impeller provides unobstructed product flow into the impeller which gives low NPSH requirements. The parts surrounding the impeller are all designed for gentle product treatment at high capacities. In order to prevent adverse process stops, the customer must maintain the LKH pump regularly. The following sequence will demonstrate how the LKH pump is dismantled and reassembled. To maintain the LKH pump, the tools shown are required. Unscrew cap nuts, remove washers and pump casing. Remove the screw and safety guard. Remove the impeller screw. Remove the impeller. If necessary, loosen the impeller by tapping gently on the impeller vanes. Remove the O-ring. Pull off the O-ring. Unscrew the nuts, remove the washers and back plate. Remove the stationary seal ring. Remove the O-ring. Remove the complete shaft seal. Remove the spring and the rotating seal ring from the drive ring. Remove the spring. Make sure that the O-ring has maximum clearance from the sealing surface. Refit the spring on the rotating seal ring. Fit the spring and the rotating seal ring on the drive ring. Ensure that the driver on the drive ring enters the notch in the rotating seal ring. Fit the complete shaft seal on the stub shaft. Make sure that the connex pin on the stub shaft enters the notch in the drive ring. Fit the O-ring on the stationary seal ring and lubricate it. Screw the stationary seal ring into the back plate.
Clean the sealing surfaces with contact cleaner before fitting the back plate. Carefully guide the back plate onto the adapter. Fit the washers and nuts. Lubricate the O-ring. Slide the O-ring onto the back plate. Lubricate the O-ring. Fit the O-ring in the impeller. Lubricate the impeller hub with silicone grease or oil. Screw the impeller onto the stub shaft. Fit the impeller screw and tighten. Fit the safety guard and screw and tighten. Fit the pump casing, washers and cap nuts. Adjust the pump casing to the right position. Tighten the nuts for the back plate. Tighten the cap nuts. Fit the lip seal in the seal housing. Lubricate the O-ring. Slide the O-ring onto the seal housing. Mount the seal housing on the back plate. Tighten the screws. Lubricate the O-ring and fit it in the drive ring. Fit the spring and the rotating seal ring on the drive ring. Make sure that the driver on the drive ring enters the notch in the rotating seal ring. 
Fit the complete shaft seal on the stub shaft so that the connex pin on the stub shaft enters the notch in the drive ring. Carefully guide the back plate onto the adapter. Fit the washers and nuts. Lubricate the impeller hub with silicone grease or oil. Screw the impeller onto the stub shaft. Fit the impeller screw and tighten. Screw the tubes into the seal housing. Tighten with a spanner. Fit the safety guard and screw and tighten. fit the pump casing. Tighten the nuts for the back plate. Fit the washers and cap nuts and tighten. Loosen the screws. Pull off the stub shaft together with the compression rings. Push the stub shaft together with compression rings onto the motor shaft. Check that the clearance between the end of the stub shaft and the motor flange is 10 to 20 millimeters. Tighten the screws carefully and evenly. Ensure that the stub shaft can be moved on the motor shaft. Fit the drive ring for the double mechanical shaft seal on the stub shaft. Fit the back plate, washers and nuts and tighten.
fit the impeller on the stub shaft. Make sure that the clearance between the impeller and the backplate is correct. 0.5 mm for LKH 10 to 60 and 1 mm for LKH 70. Remove the impeller. Remove the back plate. Remove the drive ring. Tighten the screws evenly to 15 Nm. Fit the O-rings in the rotating seal rings. Fit the spring on one of the rotating seal rings and place the drive ring in between. Fit the second rotating seal ring on the other end of the spring. Make sure that both drive pins on the drive ring enter the notches in the rotating seal rings. Place the parts on the stationary seal ring fitted in the back plate. Lubricate the O-ring. Slide the O-ring onto the seal housing. Lubricate the O-ring. Fit the O-ring on the stationary seal ring and fit this in the seal housing. Clean the sealing surfaces with contact cleaner. Mount the seal housing on the back plate. Tighten the screws. To enable the back plate with shaft seal to be fitted, remove the connex pin from the stub shaft. Carefully guide the back plate onto the adapter. Fit the washers and nuts. Lubricate the impeller hub with silicone grease or oil. Screw the impeller onto the stub shaft.
Fit the impeller screw and tighten. Screw the tubes into the seal housing. Tighten with a spanner. Fit the safety guard and screw and tighten. Fit the pump casing. Tighten the nuts for the back plate. Fit the washers and cut nuts and tighten. As demonstrated, the LKH pump is very easy to maintain. And when this is carried out properly, you will also have a reliable pump characterized by 1. Easy maintenance, 2. One type of shaft seal, 3. Gentle product treatment, and 4. Guaranteed quality.